Hi, everybody. It's Angel Schaefer, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And I'm excited to be with you today. First, before we get started making our card with a work of art stamp set, I'm going to do a little show and tell. I got a card from the Random Act of Kindness Group from Australia this week. Let me see if I can find her name so I can give her credit. This is from um, Nadia Hughes. I hope I'm saying that right. N A D I, Natty or Naughty. It's a gorgeous stamp using the Avid Garden stamp set that's only available this month during celebration. I've been doing a ton of crafting this week, and my space around and behind me is such a mess. But I'm not, I'm, you don't get to see it, and you don't even get to see what I've been working on. Because Ms. Wheelchair Kansas is this weekend, and I've been making lots and lots of projects for that. I've been making some cards for special people, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. And also, I will be doing a um, party at Ms. Wiltshire. We'll get the chance to get together and be creative and stamp and create some great cards. So make sure you are watching my blog, angelstamps1.blogspot.com. Or you can access that through my webpage, which is angelstamps.stampinup.net. If you have any questions, make sure you send me comments. You can send me an email at angelstamps at hotmail.com, and I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you have. I just wanted to show you the cards that we're making for the card class today. We are decorating an Easter egg, however you want, with the work of art stamp set. This one I decorated as a cross, and this one I just decorated with stripes and polka dots. And the one we're going to work on today is going to be even a different design. I just can't manage to constantly make the same card over and over. I always have to switch it up a bit. Okay. First thing we're going to do, you can see I have the big shot out again. And we are going to do some embossing. I got this, um, it's not new to the company, but it's new to me. I just got the sparkle texture folder. And that's what I thought would work really, really well for the outside, the frame around the egg. So I'll put that there. And here, I don't know if you can see it, kind of, you left little, um, they're almost crosses, they also remind me of their X's, but they're all, they remind me of the insert of the Phillips head screwdriver. So I can imagine myself using this as I use the nailed it bundle later, especially to make Father's Day cards. I'm going to put everything away and switch the platform out and get my magnetic platform on there because we are going to cut an oval in the middle of the embossed piece of paper that I just did. 
so that we actually have a frame. Keep rotating them, flipping which side is on top, facing top, so that they won't get so warped. And then I'm going to get in my layering ovals, pick the size that I want, put down my embossed piece of and just kind of eyeball it and find what it looks to be sort of the middle. Um, for those of you who want things exact, this is the point where you get out your ruler and measure and find the exact center. But I don't actually care all that much. I like to just eyeball things and keep going. I'm going to send it through. Oh, it scares me when it makes that noise. And then I have this beautiful oval to use for another project later. And I have my brain. Get all this put up. I like to clean as I go, or I can never find anything ever. So, it needs to be put back where it belongs. Throwing things on the floor, which is not unusual. The um, piece of paper that I've already cut to card base size. I have cut this at, it would be five and a half, and this is eight and a half. So I took an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and cut it in half. So when I fold it, it will make it. Five and a half by four and a quarter. This phone folder is, I would say, one of my most used pieces of equipment. There's just no way for you to get that crisp fold without it. So there I have my card base, and I have my two pieces of paper. This one's a bit smaller. So this is the one I intend to put on the outside of the car to make it my decorated Easter egg. So I am going to, here's the work of art stamp set, and this is the um, stamp that I'm choosing to use today. This is a different stamp that I used for either one of the other cards, the examples. Now, if you subscribe for this March class, you would have received card bases to make a peekaboo peach Easter egg card and also the crumb cake. So you have two options. Peekaboo peach or crumb cake. I need to see what order I want these to go in. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the 
put it right here at the top. Okay. Then we get to clean off as we go. Because I'm using the same stick for each of these colors. If you haven't invested in a stamp and scrub, that was one of the first things I got when I started stamping. And it makes cleaning these stamps really, really um, easy and manageable. Let me see, what color do I want? Somebody's jumping in, but I can't see who it is. So hello, whoever just jumped in to watch me live. I think that for them is what we'll go ahead and do next. And a Just get them all the way. There we go. I don't know how much I have that you're getting to see when I've been there like that, but if you did, I would like to tell you I had an exciting moment this morning. My hair is now long enough to put it in a ponytail again. I've been waiting for that. And then I will put sweet sugar plum. I'm using so far, you will find in the um, In Colors collection for 2015. To, no, wait. I think they're 2016 to 2018. The 2015 to 2017 colors will be going. Out of the catalog, come um, in June or June when we start a brand new annual catalog. Okay. So, in the then I think I will go ahead and do. Here we have the design that I created just using the one stamp from the work of art stamp set and several of the 2016 to 2018 in colors. I have Peekaboo Peach, Dapper Denim, Sweet Sugar Plum, Emerald, and being the Peekaboo Peach again. Exactly where I want it before it is sealed 
Now, I think I'm going to use some dimensionals on the back of this before you attach it to the cardstock. For those of you who have been uh, watching the videos and signed up for the class and have been creating your cards right along. Um, I actually have a question for you. I would love to hear the answer to. Would it, is it helpful to you to just watch the video? Is that all you need as you're putting together your card? Or would it be helpful to you to have me include a PDF of step-by-step -step training how I collect, go about putting these cards together. Um, just let me know whichever you think works the best for you. This month I did not include a PDF. But if you haven't made your cards and you're still waiting and you're going to do it later watching the recordings, I could go ahead and get a PDF made and mail it to you. So just let me know what you think, which would work best. And if you have an opinion and you want to be part of the April class or future classes, go ahead and just let me know what you think would work best for you for your learning style. So there's the front. I didn't add anything else because I don't think this really needs it. Um, it's just a beautiful Easter egg on the front of the card. I am going to go ahead and try to figure out what it is I want to put on the inside of the card. No, I don't know where to put that. I think I want to um, maybe I'm just playing here, so you feel free to create for your inside of your card whatever you want. I'm going to go back. I am using the colors that I used on the front of the I'm just going to add some colors to the cutout. You could just um, sponge the little sparkles and give them color if you wanted to. Um, you could just sponge the edges and give it some color. But I am just putting stripes on it to sort of make a reverse look of the front. I really feel 
of life, what I'm going to do with this is make it a smaller Easter egg than what I have right here. I think this one's too big to put on the inside of the card. So I'll be getting the big shot back out again here in a minute. If I oval and just making a smaller oval so that we can put it on the inside. In the inside of the cup. I know exactly where they are, which is also good. So there we'll put the egg and choose which size of oval. Here we have the smaller Easter egg that we've been putting on the inside of the card. Feel like keeping the oval frame that I just finished. So who knows what I might use as a frame someday. Part of my struggle when I plan what to take to classes, I wish I could just pack up every single thing I have, but that won't work. So when I get to class and I have inspiration to do something, um, and then I know what I need are at home, this is going to make me and I'll just have to either make do and have the inspiration to do something else or just leave it unfinished until I get home. The only problem is if it's a customer's card, they're not going to follow me to my desk and I'll buy supplies. Alright, so now we'll figure out where exactly on the card. I think I want it right there. I'll get some glue on it. And I'm flip it upside down of the egg on the outside. Then I am going to put some glue on the back of the insert, the inside. And that is so. So there we have today's Easter egg card, and you can decorate yours however you want it for the um, egg part of 
your card. Once you put the frame on, you get the decorated Easter egg look. And there's the inside. I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you. This is the stamp set that we will be using for the April online class. The Sprinkles of Life stamp set. I have been, I said that the card ideas would be up by yesterday, but I kind of did not realize at that point how much work I would have to do getting ready for Mrs. Wilcher this weekend. So they will be up as soon as I could possibly get my Ms. Wilder stuff done, that is sprinkles of life hard time. And because I haven't gotten them up yet, I will be extending the RSVP date until next Thursday. So next week, we will be doing the last card with the work of art and stamp set. Give you a tiny sneak peek what's coming. There it is. We will get to use the playful palette designer series paper. And then there's one more week in March that will just be me sharing some celebration project with you. It only goes through March, so don't forget the celebration will be ending at the end of March. And then we will start the Sprinkles of Life stamp set. Please let me know if you would like to be a part of that. Also, very, very exciting. Um, I have decided that any orders placed from tomorrow, Friday, March 17th through Monday, March 20th, 10% of all my, 10% of my profit, 10% um, of your purchase before tax and shipping will be donated to Little Miss Wheelchair Kansas. So if you are just dying to get some stamping a product, uh, this would be a great weekend to do that. You not only get exciting products to make cards so that you can send them to your friends, but you also will be part of donating to an amazing organization, Little Miss Wheelchair Kansas. And bonus celebration is still going on, so you can still take part in that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at angelstamps at hotmail.com. I will see you all next week.